Hello everybody, still not feeling super well, so not a day at home. Uh, but yeah, I watched Milan yesterday and it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Uh, you have led in all but one game and at least in that game you came back to a tie and you cannot get it home. It was already Atalanta, you had twice the lead, couldn't bring it home. Napoli at the beginning of the season, um, you had it now against Empoli. Now you have six points out of five games. Yeah, five games. And it should be ten. It really should be ten, I think, against Atalanta. Atalanta is a, good, is a really good team. Also, Empoli pulled up a fight yesterday. They had their chances early in the game. However, uh, at the time that they got the soft penalty, Milan had the game in the back. Uh, it's just frustrating. And then, of course, goalkeeper plays out of his mind and um, denies Suso three times. Suso was great. I cannot say the same for Noglu. And yeah, I didn't get exactly... I didn't watch the first five minutes of the game. Basically, the first thing I saw was the uh, goal by Bil Bilia. Um, so I don't know exactly what um, happened that Egoin was not playing. Maybe he got some rest, maybe he has a slight injury. I don't know. I would have to check up on that. Uh, I just find it frustrating because uh, they overall play well. It's just defensively they're not yet stable enough. And there's a... How to say? It's a little bit... Not quite clicking yet. So, yeah. Uh, and I also thought, yes, yesterday watching Milan reminds me a little bit about watching Lusk in the 90s when I grew up, uh, you know, really was into going to the stadium and watching as many games as possible when they were not all on TV yet. And the big thing there was that you like every little piece, every little player, maybe there was one or two that you think are not good enough, but um, you like every every player and it's always, who would you want to switch for whom? What player would you want? And it is funny because you think that overall it works actually well, it's not all bad. But you also know that every single player, there is at least in the league, within the same league, a player that is better in that position. And I have the feeling for Milan. Uh, it's not that it's all bad, I think they play well. But I just feel it could be much, much better. They should sit on 10 points. They should have gotten the win against Atalanta, they should have gotten the win against Empoli and now they're playing at Sassolo and Sassolo is always a game that I, yeah, get the shivers. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other big news of course is that Germany got Euro 2024. I think it's the reasonable decision. Uh, I said yesterday I would understand if they give it to Turkey, but I think the safer one is for sure Germany. and. I personally like it. I mean, now I live in Austria, um, which is next to Germany, but I think every nation in Europe is closer to Germany. Or has, it has, is, you know, it's, that, that, that was completely <laughs> botched by me. Germany has such a central location in Europe that everyone can have a home Euros in a way. There are also that many immigrants from other nations in Germany that also there will be enough. Maybe the Portuguese and uh, Portuguese, French, Spanish are not that many, but I think there are also quite some. So I, I think it is a good choice. Uh, it will be interesting whether they give the final to Munich or Berlin. I personally would think Berlin because Munich already had two finals, so give Berlin one. But yeah, Munich has a better stadium, I would say. But yeah. That's my thought. Uh, as I said, I'm overall happy that Germany got it. I would have understood it if they got it to uh, Turkey. But again, I think Germany has everything there. I think Germany is one of those countries that could host the Euros tomorrow. I think this is also, I mean, it is reasonable in every regard because there's everything is already in place. You don't have to uh, make new construction, new stadium projects. Uh, maybe there will be some renovations, but basically it's all right there. You don't have to do uh, put a lot of effort in. I think this would not have been true for Turkey where you know, quite some infrastructure would have been uh, 
have to be built probably and also you know with all the human rights stuff although I don't I understand this is an issue that you have to care about but I'm not sure how much it has to do with hosting a soccer tournament per se because we had the World Cup now in Russia and the other human rights situation is also not that great we'll have it in Qatar where they have a slave system so um, I think if maybe UEFA wants to make a bigger statement but then why do you give um, quarterfinal to Azerbaijan in two years time well let me know your thoughts I hope I didn't offend any country uh, again just base it on my knowledge of uh, Amnesty International reports and so on I honestly again I think I would not have minded it being in Turkey I think Turkey now having a fourth bid lost that's also not quite fair I will already readily admit that I just you know if you run against Germany I think there are only two countries uh, at the moment that could make a case against Germany and that is England and that is France and France just had it again let me know what you thought about these topics Milan and Germany hosting the Euros in six years uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you liked that video talk to you soon